you welcome back to WTFRC cars so I've seen a few people seem to be having this problem where your MB4 is connected to your PC or you've had your PC turn your PC on you connect your MB4 you load up the Flysky assistant and it won't connect no matter what you do it just sits there not connecting and the other issue is if you launch the MB4 software updater even if you run as admin you get the admin prompt you turn it on and it don't pick your controller up so if you're running Windows 10 what you're going to need to do leave your MB4 connected leave it turned on leave it plugged into USB then you're going to want to click your start menu and just restart and at this point do not disconnect unplug or touch the MB4 just leave it doing what it's doing and we'll get this loaded back up I'm going to try and do this without cutting away from screen or anything because um, I'm sure if this don't work for everybody there'll be a million people saying no this don't fix it but so basically all you're waiting for now you got your MB4 connected we've not turned the power off to PC you've got your boot screen and your rainbow puke PC until it loads its colour profile up and we should be getting into Windows in a second so remember do not touch the MB4 so what you're going to want to do is let's get the firmware updated so that one that one that one so let's try the fly sky assistant again now so run as admin comes up with the uac prompt and then straight away you'll see it's green so that's connected and before you read it, it won't know what firmware your MB4 is on. So then you just click on read and it'll read all your model memories and it'll also know what firmware you're on. Now it's important you do not power off the MB4 at any point while you're using this because it then won't see your MB4. So you can extract and back them up. And sorry the phone is uh, really struggling to focus on this one, but you can click on there and back it up. It'll ask you where you want to save it to. So if you want to back the lot up, just highlight them all, then click Extract, and then uh, you can save them to your PC. Now, without powering the MB4 off, if we quit the Flysky Assistant, and then right-click Run as Admin on the Firmware Updater, we'll get the UAC prompt, that will open up and it will now allow you to update your firmware. Now I'm not going to run this because it's already updated but this should hopefully fix a whole bunch of people's issues where they can't get the MB4 detected on PC. It's not Flysky's issue, it's down to do with we basically the way that Windows 10 interacts with some of the USB chipsets and I have tried all sorts to try and fix this and this is the only workaround I can find. So, just a quick recap, you get the point where it won't show up in here or it won't show up in your um, Flysky Assistant V1.1. Connect your MB4, leave it all powered up, down to your restart menu, restart Windows. As soon as you boot it up into Windows, open up your updater or your Flysky Assistant, do whatever you need to do. Once that's finished, you're good to turn your PC off and your MB4 and away you go. But just to show you what I mean with it, if I turn this off, Shutting down. so even though it was detected in the firmware update, so let's quit out of that, and then if I turn the MB4 straight back on, you hear Windows detect it, but Windows picks it up as a controller and not as the device that Windows needs to run the update. So, once you've done this, you will have to reboot again, once you've powered the MB4 off. So, 
hope that helps a lot of you guys out because I've seen a whole lot of people saying my PC won't see me MB4 and I can't update it and I'm stuck on old firmware. But thanks again for watching WTFRC Cars. If you like, like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I hope to see you guys in the... Uh... <laughs>